right, so we're doing a retune here today. Um, this is for a good customer of mine, Joe, and uh, he's been coming here for a while and he had a, an unfortunate turbo failure, um, which, which happens, you know. So we put a new turbo on this thing. It had a stock turbo. It's a 2006 Subaru WRX. Um, don't mind the idle. I've got the fan blowing on the math. Um, anyway, it's a 2006 WRX and we switched it to a 16G turbo and we're gonna tune it. So I'm just gonna kind of go through this process real quick. He was hoping I'd make a video of the car just, you know, doing pulls on the dyno, but I'm gonna do a little bit extra. So here we go. So first thing that we wanna do is we wanna adjust our boost targets, um, you know, because we've changed the turbo. We had this little tiny dinky TD05 on there before, or sorry, little tiny dinky stock turbo before, so we're switching to this TD05. So we're gonna shoot for about 18 pounds, not real aggressive. Um, this was our wastegate duty cycles. We wanna zero those out because we have a bigger turbo. We don't know what it's gonna do. And then the last thing we want to do is we want to pull about two degrees of timing out just so that we're not going to be up against any sort of uh, a condition where we may run into some knock. All right, we're going to get up into third gear and we're just going to see what it does here. to about 6,000 RPMs. I'm watching the air-fuel ratio and I'm watching for any kind of knock or anything. Um, everything looked good. I didn't see any feedback knock, no fine knock learn. Um, air-fuel ratio was pretty good and solid. Let's pull up the dyno sheet. Sorry, that's the last car I did here. So, let's see. Let's refresh. Taking a second. So our previous run, I'll put that up and then I'm gonna overlay so you can kind of see where we were at here. So. All right, so here we are. The red was the last time the car was finished tuning. It made 322 foot-pounds of torque and 254 horsepower. Like I said, this is a 2006 WRX, so it has a 2.5 liter engine, a little bit bigger motor, so they make really good torque. But they came with a really crappy, dinky little TD04 stock turbo, which 254 horsepower, honestly, was a pretty good number. So on that pole, at a whopping max boost of 14.54 pounds, Sorry, we're coming, we're slowing down on the dyno, so it's a little bouncy. Um, yeah, so 14 and a half pounds of boost, which it's carrying out the top. We're already up to 280 horse and 278 foot pounds. So we lost a little torque down low. Again, we're running less boost, but we're making a little bit more boost up top. So we're picking up power up top. We only did that pull to 6,000. This car is gonna rev to 7,000 and we're gonna give it more boost. So for a first pull, proof of concept, two degrees less timing and wastegate default, I think we're on the right track. All right, so we're gonna add a little bit of boost and uh, probably go for around 18 pounds on this pull and probably still only rev to about 6,000 or so just to make sure everything looks good before we send it out to the full red line. So I did that pull and I got the data log here. And if you look at our wastegate duty cycle, I was at about 20% duty, which got me up to, oh, where are we at here? Um, not a whole bunch of boost. Peaked at about 16.75, according to the map sensor in the car. Although 
I'm seeing a little bit more on my dyno map sensor. I'm seeing 17.54. Anyway, we might have to look at that here in a minute. So I'm gonna add a little duty cycle, but here's the issue that we are encountering. So we added about 10% duty cycle. But when we come back to this log, now we didn't lean out on that pole. If we go to the dyno run itself, we actually got pretty rich up top. The, this is the run in green. Oh, sorry, it made 303 horse and 314 foot-pounds of torque. Again, we're still two degrees out from probably where we'll end up. But let's take a look at just that pole. We ended up pretty fat up top, um, dropping down into the uh, into the, the high, low 11s, high 10s, which is probably fine. Um, but I don't usually like to go quite that rich. So we're gonna, whoops, we're gonna pull a little, I don't even know why I have the ROM Raider open. Get, get that out of here. We're using Cobb today. Um, so we're a little, a little bit rich up top. So we do need to pull a little fuel out because what's happening is if we look at our log here and we look at our injector duty cycle, we get clear up to 97%. We don't wanna be up in the 90s really. We wanna be below that. So there's a couple things I can do. I can lean it out, which I'm going to do, or I can raise the base fuel pressure because I have an adjustable regulator on this car to get us a little bit more headway. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take some fuel out. And after that, then we'll, uh, we'll look at the regulator. Now, as far as taking fuel out, this does have, um, this is the mass, the mass airflow calibration that's on the car. And what I wanna do is I wanna see if it's stock or not not so it's been modified my guess is it doesn't need to be modified so we're actually just gonna go ahead and we're gonna throw this back to stock all right so we have a stock math calibration now um, the mass airflow meter on the car is a Cobb SF intake so it should run pretty darn close to stock I am wondering though what voltage did we get to on the mass airflow meter when we were at redline here was it above where are we at? Where is our math voltage? Holy cow, I got too much stuff logged. ABC, yes. Calculate. Oh, uh, don't tell me I wasn't logging math voltage because I do so many speed density cars these days. I was not. So we need to add, we need to add math voltage. Oops, wrong, wrong screen. We need to add math voltage to our logged parameters here. Mass airflow voltage. We could probably get rid of manifold absolute pressure. We could definitely get rid of ethanol concentration because we don't have an ethanol sensor on this car. Um, that looks probably pretty good. All right, should be good. Okay, so this pole, we'll know where we're at on the MAF and hopefully we don't get super lean up top, or sorry, super rich up top and run out of fuel. So, let's do another pull.
much happier. Uh, 328 horse, 339 foot pounds. And our air fuel is a little bit closer. We're actually just still a hair lean at 1149. I want to get that down to about 11.2. Um, that's my target in the tune. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just uh, give that give that fuel pressure regulator uh, just, a, just a tiny bit more, more of a little bit of a crank there. And that should get us where we want to be. And then we'll let this thing rip and should be good for the tune. number 332 horse and 340 foot pounds uh, we've got the air fuel dialed down where we want it 1126 up top that's right where I like it uh, boost peaks at 19.2 um, car thinks it's only 18.7 but whatever close enough anyway good power 332 it is a stock motor so we don't want to push it too hard you know you could run this 20 pounds 21 pounds maybe make 350 360 but you know why so anyway thanks Joe for letting me uh, work on your car and get this thing all tuned up and make this video and uh, for anybody else uh, if you kind of want a rundown of what's done to the car um, it's a Tamioka Racing td 5 16G turbo it has uh, stock fuel injectors but it has a turbo smart fuel pressure regulator that's adjustable so we can raise the base pressure to get a little bit more uh, headroom out of it. Like I said, I'm able to hold 1126 at 330 horse, so, and we're only at 90% duty cycle on the injector, so pretty solid um, as far as, I can show you here on the, on the old tune file. Boom, oh sorry, 92.06 injector duty. So as long as it doesn't overboost much, it should be fine. It's really fairly cold in here right now. In fact, if you wanted to see what the uncorrected numbers would be because of how cold it is. Uh, yeah, 349.96 horse. So um, if we were running uncorrected numbers, that's how much power it actually made today. So that's how much fuel demand we have. So there you go. Um, other parts of the car, it's got a turbo back exhaust. It's a NVIDIA downpipe, and then uh, I'm not sure what cat back. Um, it does have a Grimspeed externally wastegated up pipe, and it has a uh, Mishimoto I think it's a Mishimoto top mount intercooler. It might be a Grimsby top mount. Either way, it's got an upgraded top mount, uh, upgraded radiator. Uh, otherwise, it's pretty much stock. So, and it is an 06 WRX, so it is a five speed manual trans, which could be a weak point here. Um, have to just kind of watch how you drive it, but good flat torque is how we like it. Anyway. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. And if I'm going to be tuning your car and you'd like me to do a video of, of the car on the dyno, just hit me up and I will happily do so. Thanks for watching. Bye.